Corey, thanks for coming out to the clinic. We're going to take a look at your underwater here. A couple things. Uh, you're reaching out front. You're gliding a little bit, which is good. Uh, the main issue I'm seeing is is pretty much with your pull. Uh, you're kind of clawing at the water there. You see right about there. You're kind of you're, 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 you're bent at the elbow. Elbow is ahead of the, the hand. The hand's kind of kind of curved a little bit there. It's almost like you're trying to just claw at the water. Uh, remember, your hand, forearm, and upper arm are pulling surface, and they need to be uh, working together. Uh, so you've got a, you've got a dropped what we call it, a dropped elbow, which the elbow is way ahead of the hand. Uh, so that's one of the things. I think a lot of the reason you're ha that's happening is because you're trying to pull the water back too fast. Now keep keep in mind is that your arm relative arm speed has to move at the same rate as your rotation, and your arm is moving faster. Than the relative speed. So you basically, as you're pulling, your whole body moves together as a unit, your arm and body moves together as a unit, and you're just trying to rip that arm back. I like to call it ripping it because it's a good way to describe it. So what you need to focus on is, I think, uh, get to a, a catch-up freestyle where your hands are coming around and touching or, or entering the water straight out from the shoulder. One hand enters the water when you start the next, as you start the next pull. Got to focus on Instead of trying to pull the arm back so fast, we got to get a work on your catch. So you got to get the hand down, the elbow up, and once you do that, then you pull the water back. All right, you're pushing the water down quite a bit right there. Remember, you want to pull back from the lat instead of pushing down from the shoulder. You've got to get that elbow up and over the hand before you pull, so you have a full pulling pulling surface. Your hand, forearm, and upper arm, real critical. If you see you're underwater, you're really overreaching. Hands are going in out in front of the face and are entering the water a little bit early. So you want to extend out further out in front uh, on the entry, particularly on that left arm that's crossing over quite a bit. And you can see as uh, above water, you're kind of coming around the shoulder with the arms, kind of, kind of swigging around that arm, the arms sweeping around the shoulder, particularly on the left arm. So you want to try to keep, uh, try to stay on your side more so on your side all the way through the arm recovery. So let the arm come up and over the shoulder and then let the hand enter the water and then drop your shoulder down and extend forward. That's what you want to do. And you're doing that pretty well in the right arm. So that, that left arm, you're, you're throwing the shoulder and the arm around at the same time and that's throwing you off out front. So you really need to work on your catch uh, so, and your extension on the left arm. And uh, I think that the catch of freestyle uh, would be very helpful for you to do. Best of luck.